So I just had this dream a minute ago. And it was not the deep sleep. It was, I just woke up at... at seven and so just had this dream after went back to bed 20 minutes later so I'm not sure if that required less or more conscious thought from me if that means it's more having to do with my own fear and desire because I was just awake a minute ago. You know what I mean? But Freud is not here. I'm not able to ask that. But I'm documenting this. In case I talk to someone someday who is smarter than me. Which should be every day of my life. <laughs> really. So in it, I am walking. Sort of like a, a long Indian trail. That's what I think is leading to a super flea market. You know, like a like an El Dorado city of junk. And when I arrive, I don't remember what it looks like. But I'm led by this butler to this room to put down my belongings so that I can then go go shop. And uh, that should have been a red flag right there. Like, I must be at some uh, headquarters of a cult. Or uh, some Scientologist thing. Um, okay. And then see behind me, there's someone with really no face that I can see. Just their head in their hands. Okay. Not my business. I'm here to find some junk. So I'm putting my things in this uh, cubby or whatever, and uh, I look up and there's like nine CD players stacked on top of each other. You know, the type when you go and you buy a used CD player from somebody, and it's like a ex-DJ club CD player that one would normally have for personal use and then they they're the kind of person that has just all these fucking players and speakers stacked in in the room and it's that it's that kind of thing and um and they're all turned on and I'm gonna like okay so, okay, a little music for uh, whenever they call my name. It's ready for me to leave here. And uh, I put in, for some reason, I have a copy of a Nine Inch Nails CD on me. Boy, this Tchaikovsky, really. 
gets louder as it progresses. To it. So I put this Nine Inch Nails CD in there and it starts playing. And um, it's perfect drug. And I don't think about it till later. But there is no Nine Inch Nails album with Perfect Drug on it. There is one release that has Perfect Drug in like nine different versions. <laughs> like Trent Reznor's different remixes of the song. For some reason, he thought that somebody would want to buy that and hear all of well, clearly it's not for listening. It's for, you know, radio stations or or whatever. And, um, or maybe he just thought the song deserved its own record of sorts. And um, I don't know, huh. Point is, and then some really nice dressed person comes in. Says, "You, I come out. I turn off the CD player, and leave it. Leave the CD in there, and I go walk up, and I'm in some nice club suddenly." That's not the place I walked in. When I walked in, this was like a mansion. This was like a fucking 80 room, you know, I, I don't know. Like a, like a, um, like a, like a billionaire's. I saw like Victorian too, you know. I don't remember seeing like some like technology or anything. And uh when I come out it's like some fucking ecstasy club. And yeah and I go, where's where's the flea market here, man? And and so like, people are looking at me like I'm not supposed to be here. And you can tell this uppity lady with pearls and whatnot. You know, the, and she's like motioning toward people. Get him, get him. And then this, um, this Like, uh, security starts walking toward me. So I walk to him to sort of go, you know, cool, what's going on? And then he stops. And as if I'm a ghost, his eyes go from me. Like, sort of to the left. Like, I'm not there anymore. And then turns around. I go, okay, that's weird. And then I walk to the direction. And, uh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. And then. On my way out I realized. I left. This unreleased Nine Inch Nails. Album. That no one knows about. This is an important thing to have. I gotta have this. And I go back to this uh, electronic room. And then there's two couples. Well, two families, really. There's one, like, little girl who seem, who act like they're, they're sort of being held captive. And then there's another one on the other side of the room that's, like, really well-dressed and, and arguing, like, Come on, Cheyenne, we gotta, we gotta, 
you know, I don't have time for this. And uh, I don't want to look at these people, man. I go to get it out, and I can't find my... There's nothing but, like, blank CDs popping out. And I go, well, what is this? Who put these here? And this has to be, like, a 20-disc CD changer. I keep pulling them out. I can't find my... And I go, I realize, I look at all of them, I go, the one I saw is not here. Because none of these have none of these have buttons on them. They're like made for a blind person. They're like Braille. You know what I mean? Hang on. Well, this isn't even the same room. Must have gone back or forward in time. I don't know. Get out of there now. You fucking fuck it, man. I'm leaving. I get out, and the location's totally different. I get my card. I'm now. I'm in, like, in the hills, and this is, it's much nicer than what I saw around me coming here, and that all changes. I immediately come back to like a dark desolate uh, neighborhood which apparently is where I live and I come home and put my junk that I've gathered for the day onto my junk table things to sell on eBay And I go toward my bed. It's not this bed. It's, um... It's like a real, like, struggling artist's apartment, you know? And I go, uh... My window is open. I don't know why. But it's not up a down window. It's one with like two like left and right doors that open. And there's a breeze coming in. And I, I didn't open that. I never opened my window. And then I hear my roommate giggling. This distant uh, amplified laugh. And I, I look... What's going on? I hear it again. Hee 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 hee. Hey, what's up, man? What are you doing? And I go downstairs to find that. Right. And immediately, he's, oh, this is my cousin and her husband. And, okay, hi, hi, what's up? After I had just uh, cursed loudly, so I'm a little embarrassed, and uh, yeah. and then I look around me, and there's like a hundred people. There's this like cocktail party on my apartment that wasn't a second ago. Okay, and then he introduces me. This is my niece. Um, can't remember her name. Alexandra, Cassandra, something. And then without too, too many words, she follows me upstairs. Follow me upstairs, she says, I got I to gotta show you something. And uh, I go. And I remember thinking, I got to. She wants me. And I got to. Uh, I gotta make sure she's not his his uh, his niece. That's actually uh, the 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 male to female 
one. And it's it's the other one, right? And so I go and I'm and she's just like spread out instantly, you know, and I'm like, okay, jump on. And remember she turned around and suddenly there's no there's no pants or nothing. And I, and I feel and it's smooth there's a smooth crease and I go, okay, good. I'm coming in. And uh Uh, th then she does something, she like, she bites me or something. And I go, hey, come on. And then I, wait, I get up, like she's not there. And then, uh, I go, I don't, I don't, what's going on today? And then I, I go yell at my roommate, go, what are you, what are you trying to do to me here, man? And, And he's looking at me, like, what's your problem? Because I'm trying to scream, but I got no voice. I'm like, hey, what do you do? Who is this chick? And I feel like I'm bleeding. I'm trying to show my show my my chest here. But look, look what she did. And there's nothing there. He says something like, who are you talking about? Yeah. Huh. The girl, man. The girl. The party. Remember? What? That's that.